What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Stan of SJ Square Photography. Bring you back another video to. Now, today's video is all about why do the models choose the photos they choose? And why do photographers choose the photos they choose? Now, I'm gonna go through this. I did a live probably a few weeks ago with Courtney uh, down in my boy's basement. Uh, Dublar did a shoot, it was live. So therefore I'm doing a photo uh, video right now just to kind of show you why do models choose the photos that she chooses. I'm gonna tell you the reason why I go through and choose the photos and then I'm gonna go ahead and kick it over to Courtney and she's gonna tell you the reason why she chooses the photos that she chose. Now, this is just kind of different because I know I do a different way of, of doing things. Once I get done with a shoot, I do send my photos over there so the models can pick it. And once she picked their photos, I will go through and pick my own photos that I may like. So this is what I'm gonna kind of show you to see what the really discrepancy and differences is in between so. Now, let's go ahead and go straight down to the iPad right now. All right, as you can see, the ones right uh, that are harder are the ones that she chose. And once again, I did a video on my whole entire process of a shoot uh, way back yonder. I actually link it up at the top, probably right here, somewhere up there. Anyway, I'll link it up there so you can go ahead and watch my, if you want to know my whole entire process. But anyway, the harder photos are the ones that she have chosen and the ones that's unharder are the ones that I have chosen. Now this shoot actually, we kind of had a whole lot of similarities of choosing the same picture. So we didn't have too much of the discrepancies, but uh, some of them I kind of did. So let's just go ahead and go right through them right now. Okay, so here's one right here. That's the discrepancy right here. So I chose, she chose this one. I do like this one, but I kind of like that one. The reason why I kind of went with this one was simply because the hair motion that she had in the hair and I like the hair tip tilt a little bit more and I like how she was leaning forward. Okay, so here's the one that she chose and I kind of chose this one. The reason why I kind of chose this one was simply because her mouth is a little bit more relaxed in this one and her lips a little bit part, part open a little bit. Her mouth don't look so tense. So that's the reason why I like this one. And that's the reason why I chose this one. Now, I like the one she also chose on this one as well because she kind of popped the hip a little bit more. But I kind of like how her hips and her stance is more straight on towards me. And like I said, I like the way her mouth was kind of more relaxed in that photo. Uh, I chose this one simply because I like the straight on look. Uh, it kind of shows more up, more off. I kind of like the straight on look. That's the reason why I like this photo the most. And I kind of like that hey, in, in the air like that. Uh, we both kind of chose this one at the same time. I think we both like this. This is a pretty good one right here. Like I said, this shoot was not many discrepancies in between hand. Let's see here. She chose this one right here, as you can see right here. And I chose this one. Now the reason why I chose this one was simply because I like the light that was in, in the eye in between the slit. Like I like how the light was actually, I mean our eye was actually in the light compared to this one where it's just kind of in the light. But this one right here, I kind of like the eye was in the light. That's the reason why I chose this one. I thought the shot was a little bit better with the eye actually being into the light. Um, same thing here, same exact reason why uh, she chose this one uh, more to feed, but I like this one simply because the eye was inside the light. And let's see here, same thing with this one. These right here was just more of the, of the fact of where the eye positioning was at. The reason why I kind of went with these right here, it's more because of the eye positioning and what the light was. Uh, same thing with all these. More when you get more to this, this standard right here, it's just more just lighting and where you want the eye position. The more the reason why I kind of chose these. Like I said, I kind of like that. She's playing with her hair and one. I kind of like she, she had extra hands on her thigh like that. So I like those. So that was pretty much my ease. Like I said, this shoot wasn't too much of a discrepancy. We kind of liked a lot of the same thing. So therefore, uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and shoot you right over to Courtney. She's going to tell you the reason why she chooses the photos that she does. And then you're going to come right back to me. Hi everybody, I'm Courtney and I'm going to be telling you why I choose the pictures that I choose after a session. Okay, so the first picture I chose, I really liked because of the way my body looks, um, my face, because I usually, I have a hard problem with like relaxing my face. So I feel like it looks like a little more relaxed here. Okay, 
For obvious reasons, I like this one because my body looks good. I feel like that's gonna be my reason for most of these. <laughs> um, and my face also looks better. Like I said, I usually have like a, like I, I can never relax my face when taking pictures, so. Okay, I like this one because of the stool and how like my body is positioned to the stool. Um, and again, just the pose and how it makes my body look. Um, see, this is an example of me having like my face, like my face is too, I don't know, it's not relaxed. So that's the reason I didn't choose that one. Like I said before, like the little pooch, I try not to pick the pictures that you could like really see that in because no, that's just not it, not it at all. Okay, this picture right here is probably my favorite picture. Just because of the way I'm sitting and the way that um, it's making my body look, I really like it. This one just looks like I'm, I'm doing too much and that's why <laughs> I did not choose this one. Okay, I didn't choose this one because um, my face, I look a little lost. Usually when um, picking my pictures and choosing my pictures, I usually look at the way my face looks, the way my body looks, the way like my arms are positioned. A lot of the times I ask like, what do you want me to do with my arms? <laughs> I feel so awkward. But if my arms look like awkward, then I usually won't choose the picture. Um, here was another one I really liked. Um, I like the shadows on this picture a lot. I didn't choose these because I feel like I look awkward and I feel like my shirt is like, it looks like it's choking me or something. <laughs> these are all really super cute. I try not picking like too many of like the same pictures or like the same like poses cause I wanted something, something a bit different. Like I like my tattoos here, but the way my hair is like flipped over, not a fan of that. I thought it would look cute while I was doing it, but when I saw the pictures, I was like, yeah, probably never doing that again. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right, now you just got finished seeing why Courtney chose the photos that she have chose. Now this video is just to really, just to show the discrepancy between what models really are looking for between photographers are really looking for. We are looking for two different type things. That's the reason why you know, we just, it's just, it's just a difference of, 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 of opinions really, uh, simply because if I gave these photos to another photographer, which I may do a video on that and ask them to pick, I'm pretty sure that me and that photographer will probably have more in like than me and a model may pick up photos and have more in like us, you know what I'm saying? Photographers just look for different things when it comes to a photo, whereas a model is looking for their looks, the way they're posing their hair, you know, just the little things, as you can see what Courtney was just saying, it's just little things that, that, that sometimes we're just not even thinking about. We're more thinking about the composure, the lighting, uh, in the posing as well, but not just like the little, little details of things. Uh, I know at least I'm not anyway. Um, uh, God, just if, if it's like a piece of hair in a way, I'm going to, you know, Photoshop it on out. So, um, anyway, so I really hope you enjoyed this photo. Uh, please go follow Courtney if you want to work with her before. Like I said, she's been on my channel a whole lot here. Uh, she's probably going to be on my channel in the future. So if you really enjoy that work in this video, please hit a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it and tell me what your reason is, is of reason why you choose the photos that you choose. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider yourself subscribing. And to the next video, peace. <laughs>